Tonight on Hockey Night in Canada, the playoffs return to Toronto for a third consecutive season. Game one was played on the fast track, won by Toronto going away. Game two was a mutter and was won by Boston by the same 4-1 score. So we arrive at game three, two teams built very differently. Which one imposes its will in game three? Long pass to center is picked off, and Andreas Janssen will move back in. Matthews line right back on here. Matthews to the blue line, and Morgan Riley put the puck at the net. It was tipped, and Tuka Rask makes the first big save. And on left wing, Matthews gets a hold of the puck. Feeds it up the boards, racing onto it. Kasperi Kapanen shot. And that's stopped by Rask. It bounced right back into the neutral zone, but McAvoy seems to be okay. In comes Mitch Marner. In behind the net. Centering pass. Tavares couldn't get a hold of that. This is what you didn't see a lot of in game two. That open ice that the Leafs got their speed going. Tavares and Marchand are tied up in front of the Leaf bench as the puck is dumped in and Marlowe stays on it. Knock the puck loose. Nylander's in front of the net. Centering pass was tipped. In comes Riley. Shoots. And that's stopped by Tuka Rask. Morgan Riley in all alone gets the game's best chance here early on. Tuka Rask with a great shoulder save. Bruins are changing. Top line is coming on. Marchand is there. Pasternak in front of the net. Stopped by Anderson. Tried to slide it underneath him. And Frederick said no from the blue line. McAvoy's shot. That deflected away from the front of the net. Marshaw to the blue line, another hard shot and another great save. Anderson on McAvoy. Watch the patience by Pasternak here. Tries to sell that he's going to go upstairs to get Anderson to lift his leg and then couldn't quite find the five hole. Anderson able to get the stick there and another shot from the point. Had that one been any kind of a rebound, Bergeron was sneaking up from behind. To the blue line, Krejci held the line, Jake DeBrusque. Stops up to the blue line. Cardo shot deflected right on, and Anderson made another kick save. And it's the Bruins' turn back the other way. Brad Marchand gets through center, gets some open ice, takes the shot. The rebound is there for Bacchus, and he couldn't handle it on his backhand. Uh, you think of Marchand at the end of the shift here, just goes outside, inside on Ennis, and then creates a little bit of open space with that quick move in the neutral zone. Carlo following. On the other side, here's Jake DeBrus driving in on Riley. Takes the shot. Anderson steered it aside. Puck comes out to Carlo. Ripped the shot off the post. Bells were ringing here as Carlo got his head up the whole way. A quick little wrister through traffic in front. And the Bruins get to center. Could be a two on one here. Coyle back is with his shot. There's a rebound that's knocked away from Anderson. And then how about Anderson again? This is a dangerous rebound that's there for the taking. Uh, hits him up high and then does a good job of just getting a piece of it before Coyle can. Ennis stays on the puck, battling here. Fourth line against fourth line. Krug lost the puck in his feet. Ennis took it back to the front of the net. Tip just wide by Goche. Riley to the net. Last made the save. Rebound score. Trevor Moore. In his first ever playoff series, Trevor Moore gets his first NHL playoff goal, and Toronto has struck first. That little tip by Moore on that initial shot from Riley gave the goaltender problems, and it was Moore who found it before any Bruin could get there. Here comes Carson Fulman. DeBrus gets there, trying to center for David Krejci. Walks up, put the puck on net. Anderson, the same rebound, score! David Krejci ties the game 1-1. There's the deflection not once but twice, a bouncing puck, and Krejci just gets enough of it to get it up and over the elbow of an outstretched Anderson who is falling down. Jake Muzzin broke up a play, gets the puck to center, Marner puts it in, Tavares wide open in front of the net, deep stop, and the net is off as momentum carried Tavares right into the goaltender, Tuka Rask, who made the save and is still in the back of the net. How about Mitch Marner? A little curl and drag around Chara, and there's the hit. No question that it's not a Tavares penalty there. Krejci beat Matthews on the draw. Carlo to Krug to the net, a tip right on. Big save by Anderson. Krejci again with a shot. He saw some net and he missed it on the short side. Morgan Riley with the puck, his shot over top of the net. Tavares had to duck out of the way. Janssen, Matthews shoots, he scores! 
Austin Matthews has statistically entered this series 12 seconds into the power play. 2-1 Toronto. Gets into the lane and then on and off the stick in a half a second and in the back of the net for his first. Ritchie got the draw, but the winger was tied up. Three on two, back the other way. Janssen, there's a quick shot and a big save on Morgan Riley by Tuka Rask. In for Tavares. Good reach there by Carlo, and he got the puck to the line, but not out. Janssen, here's Matthews up against Brandon Carlo. Tavares centering. Janssen, backhander, scores! To back power play goals, and the Maple Leafs in game three have a 3 1 lead. You can see John Tavares between his legs, past the outstretched stitch, stick of Bergeron, and how about the hands in tight as Johnson pulled it to his backhand, got it up and over. As Hyman in the corner, he gives him the puck. Coyle's working in front of the net. Krejci, one timer by Grizzly, just wide, the rebound. There's a shot, they score. Charlie Coyle got it after Heinen missed it at the side of the net. The Bruins get a power play goal and pull back to within one. Down on his face, Anderson, after that rebound, he wasn't able to get to it. So often that back bounce is a dangerous one, and it's Coyle who pounced on it. Battles the puck back to the blue line. Carlo Krug off the boards, a bad pass, and the Leafs intercept, and Marner's able to clear the puck, and Toronto starts a change. Carlo faked the shot, moves in. The two defensemen, Krug, put the puck into the middle. Quick shot and a nice save by Frederick Anderson on Carson Kuhlman. He has the power play goal to the blue line. Grizzlick, a hard shot there, and a good stick by Connor Brown on McAvoy's shot, steered the puck out of play. The second unit trying to get something towards the net. It's been all to the outside so far. McAvoy comes back to get the puck. Zaitsev almost released. Still the Bruins move into the power play. Coyle takes the shot. There's a rebound off Anderson. Here's the one chance they did get, and well, maybe a little bit of room. Anderson almost overplayed that a bit to his left. On his forehand, slides the puck off the skate of Marlowe, and Charlie Coyle takes over. Backhand aerial, knocked out of the air. David Backus takes a shot, and that's deflected out of play by goaltender Frederick Anderson. How about this shot right off the forehead? Chara. By Hyman, and the fans love that as the big man goes down. Tavares got the puck. Hyman goes wide against the floor and cuts in front. Stopped by Rask. And Tuka Rask with a big save to keep the Bruins within one. Riley's with him. They'll get in across the blue line. Matthews with a shot. And that's stopped by Rask. And he threw the puck to the front of the net. In turn, it's taken back by David Backus of the Bruins. Battling in the corner, DeBrusque to the blue line. Carlo Grizzlick with a shot, fought off by Anderson. Matthews on a little give and go with Riley here. He looked, tried to out quick Rask and get it through the five hole before he was set. Camphor. Here's Kuhlman. Grizzlick was right there with him. Kuhlman down, up, DeBrusque centering pass. Krejci went to his backhand and the puck was poked away. Anderson with a big save. Watch this aggressive move by Anderson. He's almost hung out to dry, but he gets the stick out and gets the nod down hard against the ice. Here's Brad Marchand. Back to the line. Pasternak fakes. Over to Krejci. To Pasternak. Fires a shot. Big block. Two big blocks by Mitch Marner. And that's it. The Maple Leafs win game three. Three to two. This isn't just about winning a game. This is about a moment as a teammate. And that goes a long way to get you going further in the playoffs.